Hey folks, remember this classic Elton John tune? I'm sorry, it seems to be the hardest word. Now, granted, Sir Elton was singing about the breakup between two lovers, but riddle me this. Why does sorry also seem to be the hardest word to utter when it comes to politicians and bureaucrats? So Ontario's cancelled gas plant scandal was just one of the many billion-dollar boondoggles to occur in the province under the fiscally embarrassing run of the McGuinty Wynn Liberals. If you don't remember the gas plant scandal, let me remind you, the Ontario Liberals were all set to build two new gas plants in Oakville and Mississauga, but come election time in 2011, voters got a case of the not-in-my-backyardism and so the Ontario Liberals cancelled the gas plants at a staggering cost of more than $1.1 billion. Of course, that fact was left out until after the Liberals were re-elected to a minority government. The opposition parties demanded an investigation into how much those cancellations cost. And that investigation revealed more than a huge waste of taxpayer dollars. It also revealed that in an effort to hide the costs of cancelling the gas plants in favour of votes, emails had gone missing. Former Premier Dalton McGuinty, who had already stepped down after this debacle, well, his chief of staff was David Livingston, and he was investigated for destroying computer records, including hard drives that contained information that was very embarrassing to the Liberals. Now, Livingston was recently found guilty of illegal use of a computer system, and in a pre-sentencing statement, Livingston offered a profuse apology. Well, not really. Uh, for here's what he said, quote, I apologize to my friends and family for the anguish I have put them through. I regret the time and money that has been required to investigate and prosecute this case, and I apologize to all my colleagues for the strain of direct or indirect involvement in this trial, end quote. Um, did you notice something missing in that mea culpa, folks? You see, when it comes to apologizing 101, I think the cardinal rule is this. When apologizing, you must apologize to those who are most deserving of an apology. Livingston said sorry to his friends. He said sorry to his colleagues. He said sorry to his family members. You know who he didn't say sorry to? You, the Ontario taxpayer, the person who is on the hook for the cost of cancelling those gas plants, the cost Livington tried to hide from you. And yet, even now, even with all this exposure and shame and toxic publicity, Livingston still can't be bothered to say sorry to the people who got screwed and who were hurt the most. In fact, he never even said that he was sorry for his actions, period. No, he just feels badly for the anguish he caused his fellow lefty elitists. Now, if anything, Livingston's trial and guilty verdict shows that Livingston still hasn't learned anything. He's more concerned about the embarrassment his champagne socialist friends have endured, but not for the laws he broke in an effort to hide the truth from taxpayers, and to protect his political masters, of course. Livingston's sentencing continues next week. The Crown is asking for six months, and the defense is asking for community service. Now, if I had to say, I'd say this. Livingston could sure use some time in the cooler. That way he could reflect and come up with a real apology to those who are indeed the most deserving. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, if you heard the news, The Rebel has a brand new app. Please download it and take The Rebel wherever you go.